Hello friends, this is the first time farmer, over 50, welcome to the homestead. So here's what's happening this evening, this is Sunday, May, no, yeah, May the 5th, and um, where I am, where I've been working for a few hours today, is amidst the cedar trees, just below the field. So where I'm standing used to be a field, probably a hay field. This was not owned by my family until 1974. And um, it had been, there had been hay on it, apparently, as best as we can tell, it had been hayed. Um, but, um, we kept it cleaned off for a number of years after we bought it, but eventually it was just kind of allowed to grow over. So this is, it's turned into um, all cedars. So I'm not exactly sure how, how large this, this piece of the property was. I think it was it's somewhere in the range of about five acres. Um, I am standing right on the edge of it. So I'm gonna walk over here. There's a big oak tree I was showing you last night. I'm sorry for the sun. The sun is setting in the western sky. And um, fortunately, I'm walking right into it. I also apologize for the unsteadiness of the camera. All right, so this is the big oak right here. Now, up until just a month or so ago, uh, this tree was pretty much unseen, at least this part of the tree. Um, it was completely surrounded by smaller cedars, uh, Lanicera, Autumn Olive. Uh, this area, this pile right here, a um, lot of Autumn Olive in that, and also uh, Lanicera. Also some cedar you can see that has browned up nicely over the last several months. This part right here in uh, end of January, early February, uh, you couldn't walk through this spot right here um, because of all the autumn olives that were growing through here. It was just absolutely thick. So in Jan end of January, early February, I cleared all this out. It just had to go. And now it's, as you can see, the uh, Lanicera are starting to come back. Um, have to get in here with a weed whip and take care of those bad boys but um, you can see the house through there now from the house this tree was practically never seen through because of all the trees and everything growing around it As you can see our silva pasture there and I'm not sure if you can see just beyond that big brush pile in the center of the screen uh, you'll see the cedar tree with the orange red ribbon uh, that is right next to um, flags for sector D um, just to the right of that that tree down there um, but this has all been cleared out now I don't know if, how much you can see down below but uh, where it starts getting thick again that's what all of this looked like uh, just just a couple of months ago before we start working in it so um, and you've never been able to see it from other vantage points because everything else is so so darn thick all right, what I wanted to show you is this, this big tree right here, this oak, is right on the property line, the old property line uh, with Waldemeyers. And hopefully I don't know if you can see this or not, uh, but this is uh, two strands of barbed wire coming right out of this tree. And uh, no one in the family remembers. Um, so, so out this way, if there were cows, they would have been running out here, okay, when this was all wide open pasture. Um, but nobody in my family remembers this being used as pasture. So um, the previous owner, owners, uh, Waldemeyers down here, apparently had um, cows in here at some point. But um, good, good uh, chance that... Um, Prior to 1957, when my family moved out here, 
um, they had already removed the cows from this field, I guess. So that's all we know. Um, but you can still see the barbed wire. This stuff's pretty tough, man. It's been in there at least, at least 60, probably 70 years, and it's uh, still holding on. And uh, as we look down the old property line, general vicinity of it, uh, there are chunks of bob barbed wire and, and some of these trees down there too. And other videos will show that as well. But I just wanted to, to show you that um, so you can see where we are and kind of what's going on. Um, let me think here. This area here was a garden, um, early 70s. I remember coming out here, the entire family clearing this out. Um, I was quite small at the time, so I don't remember doing a whole lot, but I remember working, the family working out here. And then this all down here was all woods and, and everything. Also, right through here, I used to run power lines. When the family moved out here in the late 50s, there were, there were power lines running behind the house and um, kind of looking straight through there, uh, just beyond, just behind the house, below that hill over there, um, the lines came through, and they came through in this general direction and proceeded over that way. So uh, the posts, the only posts from the power lines, there was one right behind the house that I, uh, I remember it being there in the early 70s, but... Um, my brother eventually cut it down. Chuck eventually cut it down with a chainsaw, which was probably around 1974, 75. I think that's when he got his chainsaw. So he made good use of it uh, on that uh, old power power post. So, all right, that's all. I just wanted to show you this part. And then um, we're gonna walk over here real quickly. Looks like my battery is about ready to die. Another pile of stuff. What we got going on there new pile right there that I made small one made that one today actually made two piles and then this area here where these two piles are this is kind of where the where I want my clear cut yesterday started so this area down here below until you see where it, you get to the pile there that's all piled up um, that was all, it all looked like that, <laughs> pretty much. So I was able to clear this, this amount out in the last few hours. So, all right, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, just for the record. So, thanks for watching. We certainly appreciate it and uh, hope to see you in the future. But if not, we'll see you in the pasture.